For the Maeve shawl, I offer an integrated knitting version um, for the Pico bind off and the 10 stitch ribble, um, rib bobble bind off. And so we're gonna be putting Picos that are going to stand up above these yarn overs um, along the border. So the first stitch that I'm going to show to you is the crocheted knit stitch. And you take your crochet hook in your right hand, holding your yarn in your left hand, enter the stitch knitwise, yarn over counterclockwise, pull it through the stitch, and let it drop off the needle. Now here is a single crochet. You're gonna enter the stitch knitwise just as before, yarn over, pull it through that stitch, and take it through the stitch that's on your needle and drop it off. So now you're down to one stitch again. Okay, ignore this guy. All right, so now we're going to do the cable cast on the same as you would in knitting. You would put your crochet hook through the first two stitches, yarn over, bring them up here and lay them onto the needle. So that's one cable cast on. There's your second cable cast on. Now we're going to work into this first stitch here. I'm going to enter it knitwise. Come on, buddy. Yarn over. I'm going to work a single crochet, so we're pulling through that one and the one that was on the hook. And drop it off. And you're going to do that again. And a third time. And a fourth time. And now you're back after this to the repeats for the cable cast on. You can also do this if you're not comfortable with the tugging. Same as passing a slip stitch over to finish that um, cable cast on. Okay, and I'm just, ignore what I'm doing right now. This is not part of the pattern. I want to work over to the ribbing rather rapidly so that we can show you, I can show you how to do the uh, 10 stitch rib bobble. I guess I should just name it a ribble. <laughs> rib bobble um, decrease because that uses some different stitches. So we're gonna pop that marker off out of our way. Okay, and now you're going to start with a crocheted purl stitch, which has worked yarn forward, enter the stitch purl wise, and now we're going to yarn under and back over the hook so that we can grab it to pull through. Okay, so it's crochet purl and then crochet knit, crochet purl, crochet knit, crochet purl, crochet knit, crochet purl, crochet knit, crochet purl. Crochet knit, crochet purl, and the pattern for the decrease when you get to this point, you're going to pull that, this loop, you want it to grab up under the hook, and you're going to pull it through all the stitches. So you can just hold the fabric and our yarn over securely in that hook and just pull through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. So we're going to pull through all of those stitches on the crochet hook. Okay, and then we're going to work a single crochet so that the last one from before the decrease and the one that's remaining after the decrease are both still on the needle on your hook and you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull it through both of them as a single crochet. And then the last thing you do is you work a chain one, which is yarn over and pull it through the chain stitch on your knee. 